We need to give full credit yeah. for Justin Longmuir's coaching, yeah. don't we? we he, he coached well throughout the game, yeah. but he brought four players forward. Sean Darcy was moved forward yeah. to even stretch Darcy more even further, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did really well. He understood that Collingwood don't score well. Uh, Brody Grundy, another issue. All the tap-outs, he'd be like Max Gorn. Get mm. nothing for them. They'll smash through the yep. clearances. He did coach well yesterday. You're Longmuir. a keen student of the uh, young kids coming through. Last year you were talking about Caleb Strong before the Dockers yeah. took him high in the draft. And he's putting together a nice little patch of work right now. He is. And, you know what, a lot of players are disappointed when they have to go to Fremantle because of you know how far it is away from home. But Caleb Sarong has been a boarder at uh, Geelong Grammar for a while, moved away from home. You can see the joy he's got playing. And mm. Not many in their you know, first season of footy can be best on ground. And he took it to Taylor Adams and Trelaw and all these players. And I think he was the best man on the ground. The toughness. Do you? Yeah, yeah, he pushed Jack Crisp off the ball there. So he's just got to work toughness about him and some class. And I think what they're doing well at Fremantle is Nathan Fife was Fife or bust. Mm. Now Brayshaw's getting best on ground. Yeah. Uh, Sarong gets the best on sure. ground. Chera's going yeah. well, which is fantastic. And there was no Walters yesterday. As well. Yeah.